Hey guys, I'm Brandon Basson from Cape Audio College and in this episode I'm going to talk about melodies and patterns. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. I'm going to keep it based just on the session I have in front of me whereby I've used certain methods to to make a melody stand out in certain sections and leads and things like that. So I'm going to give a run through of the song. This song is something I'll be, I'm still working on. There's no vocals in the song yet. Um, but I'm going to give it a playthrough and then I'm going to break it down for you guys. So that was a run through of the song. Um, now I'm gonna break it down into certain sections. So let's go with the intro, which is where every song starts. Actually, my song starts before the intro, but that's just something, just to, just in case I feel like doing something else there. Cool. In the intro, we start very basic. We have so the main pattern is this one over here. That is the main core of the pattern that's the driving melody right underneath that we have our layers with well it's, it's folded in and this is just to bring about some ambience You know, get a get a good feel of of what's to come in the song. Um, in the drums build up, quite speaks for itself. We have a drum beat going. I don't know why I went like with a natural drum kit over here. I just feel like it it fits well. 
I like that kick. Um, and over here, here is our main. That's our lead, basically. That's our main driving pattern as well. On top of instruments. What I like to do in build-ups is I always go from a more instrument-based uh, sound. So there's lots more instrument elements over here. Then in like a heavier, a heavier drop type uh, part of the song. So I go from instrument to electronic basically when it comes to giving more force. Um, but that is something you you you'll have to decide on your own uh, when it comes to your creative creative ways. Um, but in this build up over here, you'll see I'll have the driving um, melody on top of chords, um, so that it, it leads the way, but from from the back. So it's yes, this is what my melody sounds like. And it's underneath everything else. And it's like far at the back. It slowly comes up behind everything. This is when it stands in front of everything. So it's now like the main leading uh, melody and sound on top of everything else. And sometimes I do like to keep in some um, instrument elements, like over here I still got the piano in. And it's basically all just layered, lots of layers over here. And this is some space for vocals. So I don't have the main melody going over here. Um, just the, the chords. The... Yeah. And some bass. And then I bring it in again. And then I go back to another build up where there's more instruments than electronic type of instruments, um, sounds. And I bring that lead through. But this is where things change over here. So, you'll hear this sound come in. This is the, the change, so... What this is over here is some dubstep bubbles that I made. Uh, I had to bounce it due to processing power, but... Nonetheless, still the same thing. Um, so basically, I had this melody. Wait, not that one. It was same pattern as this for my dubstep wobble. But what I do is I alternate between lead, wobble, lead, wobble, depending on the pattern. So, so basically you can see over here, it goes lead, do this. And then I, I let it alternate between each other. So you go lead, wobble, lead, lead, wobble, small wobble, lead, lead, wobble. So check it out. This all depends on your pattern and your melody that you're going for. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it took a long time to come to get to this point. Um, so yeah, 
sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it's good for like a halftime uh, type of song. It, it usually comes together well with a halftime song. So you see, I'm at 160 over here, but I've half timed it. Um, another another thing that you don't, and I don't think many people would notice, but this is in the background. Plays a big part, actually, by the way. And then over here. You know, when you take it up a bit, this is like a, a subconscious type of thing that um, it, pl it plays in the background, but it has a, a lot of energy. It adds energy. It came from the build up into the drop. And it just sits there. It's like, it takes it up a level. And then for the second one, second half of the drop. We go uh, octave higher. That's the only changes in the in the drop. Um, and in between all of this, just for some separation, we had a screech. Well, I had a screech over here. Just for some separation, I did it over here as well. So when this comes. Um, so when it's wobble, screech, lead, basically. Oh, didn't enable it. Just for some separation. And yeah, it sounds empty without that that high pitch at the back. And there that high pitch is coming in. Bring it all together with drums. See, I like the switch ups over here as well. Like there's lots of switch ups going on. So it goes from like lead, wobble, lead, wobble, lead, lead. Wow, wow, wow. I like that. It, it, it adds like a bounce. Yeah. So that is just some ideas for you guys to play around with. Um, it won't always work. This is only the second time I've done this. Um, but yeah. Take so basically what I did is I took a basic pattern like this. Took that same pattern, added it into a wobble, and chopped it up together. Uh I chopped it up and then took one away, put one there, put one there. It's it's a it's a ball game. Uh creativity will differ for everyone, depending on the genre as well. Um this works well with electronic uh, music production. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope to see you guys use this method. Let me know how it goes. I'm, I'm super keen to see um, the projects that you guys come up with. And the songs. Feel free to contact us. And you can follow me as ReactorBSA on Instagram or ReactorB on Facebook. Get in touch and... If you have any questions, feel free to, to DM me um, all ears for, for questions. Um, but yeah, until next time, peace.